Hey guys, welcome to another Zero Breeze Like High video. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna show you two things and we're making this video in our labs. So, for two things we wanna show you. First thing is the fast charging function you guys have been waiting for and I know you guys are excited about it. And another thing we wanna show you is the AC uh, output overload protection. So first thing first, let me show you the fast charging. So currently, the design plan we have is we have combined the uh, solar panel input and the fast charging input all into this Anderson input over here. And it's at 1250 watts input, I believe. Uh, so let me co uh, connect it to this. Let me turn it around so when I connect it, you can see this display screen on. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. And as you can see, the screen just uh, turned on and then you can see that the battery is going up. Currently, it's at 55% battery life. Um, and then you can see on the input section over here, uh, it's around 1100 watts right now. Uh, it's going up. It takes some time. Okay, so it's, at, it's over 1100 watts right now. And then right here, the information will tell you hours to full. So currently it's gonna be uh, about one hour to fully charge the like Hive unit right here with the fast charging. Okay, and then you can see on that display screen over there, um, it's around 60 volts and uh, 25 uh, amps. Okay, so now hours to full is uh, changing still. It's around one hour. Okay, so now let me plug into the load control in my back. And uh, so we can show you that you like Hive is charging and discharging at the same time. Okay, so so this is connected to the load control like control load over here behind me uh, so I'm gonna plug it in and I'll turn the AC switch on okay so now you can see there is input and there is output So the input is uh, still over 1100 watts right now and then the output is around uh, 800. And of course, hours to full is changed as well. Uh, should we increase some load? Yeah, let's increase some uh, load and so we can see it. Okay, so the output now has increased to uh, around 1500 watts and the input still stayed around over 1100. Okay, so now output has increased to uh, close to 1000 watts and the input is still stayed around over 1100 watts. Okay, we have increased the output now to 1800 watts. Okay, now we have increased the output over 2000 watts. And I think it just went over 2300, uh, so it went into overload protection. But the input st still stayed well over 1100 watts. Okay, so when we when the unit shuts off because it went into overload protection, when we restart it again, you can see that everything is uh, very functional. Uh, the input is still at e over 1100 watts. And uh, now it's, because I think when we started the video, it was at 55% battery life. Now it's at 61% battery life. 
uh, an hours to full is showing 0 0.8 hours to uh, get fully charged to uh, with the leg hive.